You want to hear a story about the history of Manhattan? It's like, I swear to God, it's true, man. Like, it's totally true. So one guy back in the day, he got so wasted from Martinis for, for like fifth day in a row. And he was like sick and tired of all those booze because he got like few tattoos and wanted one. And he was fancying whiskey as well. So they decided to like kind of like the wood cocktail a bit with uh, um, sweet vermouth and whiskey. And he balanced it out with some bitters. And that's how you got like boozy, but approachable cocktail called Manhattan because it is totally like Manhattan and New York native. Or maybe the guy back in the day went to see his aunt in Staten Island and then he got so bored and she was serving him some like nice dry sherry and vermouth, but he got like so bored that he like just put some extra whiskey from his flask and that's how he got Manhattan. That's kind of like hundred percent truth. Or uh, there was a bartender who was just improvising for his customer and he just he had the great palate. So like he created Manhattan in Brooklyn. No, in Manhattan, man. Come on. It's Manhattan. Seriously. That's it, man. You want some more music? All right, so uh, there are many like old books about Manhattan uh, and it is definitely like uh, part of uh, Martini family. In Savoy cocktail book, Harry Craddock uh, has a few versions of Manhattans and first version was actually like vermouth Beijing's in uh, many books. You see like two parts of vermouth or equal part of uh, sweet vermouth to rye whiskey or Canadian, but Canadian whiskey refers to rye. Adding a dash of absinthe, adding a dash of dry curacao or maracino liqueur was also appropriate. Second version was what we drink today with uh, two parts of rye and one part of sweet vermouth. If you find it in like any other book, Italian vermouth refers to sweet one and French to dry one, but also it could be bland. It could be many different things. Taste your spirits and then go from there. Hey, also, I, I love Manhattan, man. I'm such a tourist. I forgot to wear my I love New York shirt that they bought in Times Square, which is totally, if you're a true New Yorker, you will go over there or not. We are going to make perfect Manhattan. There are a few rules uh, in order for your perfect Manhattan to be perfect. Uh, first rule is it needs to be made with love. It has split base of sweet and dry vermouth. Uh, it has rye or bourbon. Taste your spirits and then break the rules. So yeah, of course, I'm going to put probably three quarter of Antica formula. Uh, sweet vermouth, uh, half ounce of uh, dough in dry. And then for this specific cocktail, I'm going to use a New York product from New York Distilling Company, bottled in bond, the Ragtime Rye. It's uh, one of my favorites. There are quite a few rice that I fancy, but for Manhattan, I feel that's the most appropriate one. We are going to combine all those flavors with uh, two dashes of Angostura bitters, which is ketchup for bartenders, man. We put it, man, in our sandwich. Weirdos. You want some more music? Manhattan is always stirred. And let's talk about garnishes. Appropriate is uh, to put uh, maraschino cherry. Appropriate is to do orange peel. And if you do perfect Manhattan, just do a lemon peel.